Hi guys, my name is Chris, I'm from the United States, and I've been living in the beautiful country of Chile since 2013. My first year in Chile, I lived with a host family in the small city of Los Andes. I can remember many of my first experiences here in Chile, including my first melón con vino, my first polola chilena, my first pichanga, and also eating once a la chilena for the first time, watching Chilean television, and thinking to myself, wow, this is terrible. A few years later, I was here in my apartment here in Santiago with my roommate, Gringo Steve. Hey, Gringo Steve! Are you doing a video? Yeah, Steve, we're doing the video. Hola, amigos que ir de Chile. So me and Gringo Steve got to talking, and we said, hey, Chilean television's so bad, maybe we could try to make a show here. Two hours and some terrible Photoshop skills later, our Chilean television show, Gringos Perdidos, was born. We started to pass this poster on Facebook thanking Megavision for allowing us to be stars of the show. Amazingly enough, we actually did get messages from people saying, congratulations on your new show, and wahahaha felicitaciones gringo culia. We really thought it was cool that some people thought the show was real, even though the poster was super chanta. So we decided to make a few brief episodes of Gringos Perdidos. It's a show that lasts about the fact that many Chileans think that we're gringos super weonados. We don't know where this came from. If you know, you can leave a comment, that'd be awesome. But yeah, here are the first few clips of Gringos Perdidos. Check it out! That's not your effort. Huh? That's not your picture. Huh? Don't they ask my TV de money in Chile? El nuevo show de Mega. So much loco! Although some people on Facebook laughed, unfortunately, the producers at Mega Vision did not take notice of our show. So after six brief sketches, Gringos Perdidos in our hearts and minds was canceled. Gringos Perdidos, el mejor show de la historia. Fast forward a few months later, I was jogging along Alameda when I noticed two people from Chilean television interviewing random people on the street. So I thought, okay, what do I do to get on Chilean television? I should be the most gringo gringo that I can. Como el show, Gringos Perdidos. That'll get their attention. So while they're on commercial, I approached them very humbly and said, uh, Hola, hola, disculpa. I quiero apoyar al show si me pueden entrevistar. And two minutes later, I got my chance to appear on Chilean television. The following is what happened. Estamos en la calle. Oye, quiero dar un saludo muy grande a todas las personas viendo este show. Y al mejor cantante del mundo, Lucho Jara. ¿Te sabes alguna canción de Luis Jara? Quiero proponerte una canción. Mentira. Quiero hacerte dar de aquel amor. Amame, amame, amame. Entrega tu alma, tu cuerpo de niña. Tu pena de amor. Amame, amame. No lo puedo creer. Amame. For me, Lucho Jara has always been a hero of mine here in Chile. So the chance to surprise him and sing to him live on air truly was a dream come true. He might not have shown it on his face in that moment, but I think he was very proud. Everything that occurred was 100% improvised, and here's some more of the clip. La que mejor te salga es tu momento de oro. Tú puedes brillar o ser un fracasado. Perfecto. Tres. Canta con nosotros, Chris de Pensilvania. Dos, uno, ahora. Mi chica, te mueves, sensual y sonrojada. No sabes sin mirar, pero quieres taquillar. Luces, bikinis y minis de colores. Soleando con mil coches y chicos para ir a bailar. Chicos para ir a bailar. Chica rica, tatas y matas. Amazingly, the gringo perdido that I invented for our show actually worked perfectly on Mucho Gusto. That same day, they invited me back to the studio of Mucho Gusto. I got to meet in person my hero, Lucho Jara. He taught me how to cook cazuela, and off air, he told me that I was a nuevo integrante de la familia. It was amazing. I felt like I'd won the Super Bowl. Estoy muy agroso de Chris. I just wish he would pay the rent every once in a while. Dude, I paid this month. So I was truly very thankful to everyone the whole time. They invited him back to appear in the show three more times. Oye, gringo, ¿cómo está diciendo que no casas nada, weón? Te pasaste pa'l weón. Hey, he's a character, just like you, gringo flight. Sí, pero yo soy mucho mejor que ese saco, weón. Come on. If he didn't exist first, then you wouldn't exist. Huh. ¿Sabes qué? Mejor me vuelvo a Estados Unidos. Oh, gringo, culiado, estoy desapareciendo, weón. Mira la foto. Eventually, I had to appear in the show three more times. But I'll be honest in saying that my subsequent appearances were not of the same quality or entertainment value. 
Tratando de no ser mal, de ser buen amigo. No te puedo creer. While I was on the show, I mentioned my project Gringos Perdidos to a few producers of Mucho Gusto, and unfortunately they ignored my idea. So since then, the character of Gringo Perdido has sadly stopped existing. Cuando rechazara nuestro proyecto, yo estaba muy triste. My dream, while I'm still in Chile, would be to produce, with great cameras and a real set, an actual episode of Gringos Perdidos. Parranda? Sí. Gringos Perdidos. Les quería contar que vi un show que me encantó. Gringos Perdidos. Muy bueno el show de Gringo Last. Hoy vamos a hablar de un show chileno muy intrigante. Gringos Perdidos. Hay un show hermoso que vi en Mega que se llama Gringos Perdidos. If this video gets a lot of views, it could increase the chance that my dream comes true. So if you can, please share the video with somebody else. Give it like, leave a commentary. It'll be awesome. Por favor, come bar to it. I'll be down. And maybe Chris will finally do his dishes. Dude, why are you gonna bring that up? Oh, Gringos Perdidos. Por favor, suscríbete al canal Gringo Modeón. You know, mucha gente va a ganar este parecer. Mira la foto. Bueno, besitos desde acá de Santiago. Les quiero mucho. Espero que estén tiquitaca, sanos y sanitos durante la cuarentena. Y nos vemos para la próxima. Chao, chao, amigos.